What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech, more reviews. Um, this time we're going to be looking at the USB-C hub from Inatech. This is an 8-in-1. Let's check it out. So Inatech is known for making some of the most ingenious little devices. Um, I've had some of their products before, such as the wall chargers, the multi-output chargers, and I've had a um, USB hub from them before. But this one actually is probably one of the best ones that I've seen. So if you notice the form factor, it's nice, rectangular, and it's pretty much seamless. It has nice edges, it's nice, it's clean, it's smooth. It has the Inatech branding up on the top. Now that we talked a little bit about that, let's look at the actual um, real estate on this because it's, I find it really, really impressive. So you get a VGA over here on the end and you get a power pass through with USB type C right here. You got HDMI, you got an ethernet. All these have been tested guys and they do work. You got two USB 3.0 on here, micro SD, SD, and then over here is to the actual host. And you see the host is going to be the iPad that we're using right behind here. On this side, you see a USB-C right there. Now, the cool part about this is USB Type-C cable pops out of there. So you're able to take that on the go with you, just plug it in, and then you got plug and play right there. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this is it allows for a dual video output guys so we're gonna test that out I got my VGA cable right here I'm gonna actually just screw that in on the side and then we're gonna use the HDMI that I showed you up front so I actually have an HDMI cable hiding back here behind my iPad it may get a little messy with the wires but just bear with me got everything plugged in next we are going to plug into our iPad and let's get these screens on so we can actually see what is going on. Okay, so I have one screen here and then another screen up there. So we have dual iPad screens going at the same exact time. Um, now, one of these has audio hooked up to it, the other does not. Let's check out the apps. So I got a secondary screen up here. Screen both well, both screens are really secondary screens, but this one is a little dim, more dim up here. Um, I'm gonna just control my iPad down here, and let's see. I'm going to show you that it is working. It's going through in GarageBand, and basically, I'm just gonna do a quick song just to show you that it will pick up on this stuff. Both screens are actually working in that regard. Now let's do one last test and we're gonna test the video quality. What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today is the day, it's been about a week or so and it is time to do the follow-up for the Whitestone Dome privacy screen. Let's do it. So I've used the privacy glass. So as you can see, we got all three screens going at the same exact time, all playing the exact same thing. There's no lag. The functionality is working really well. Um, you're getting your audio coming through really great, really crisp, really clear. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's a great little device. Let me check it out. Let's see. Right here. Great little device. Like I said, you can hide this cable. Keep up with that lock it into place, it snaps in, it doesn't jump back out. Hooks up the two separate output sources for your video so you can show on two separate screens at a time. You got ethernet, you got USB 3.0, um, micro SD, SD, everything that you would need is right here and it's compact. It's gonna fit right in your bag. iPhone XS Max, just a little bit smaller.
So that's our size right there. A little bit smaller than 10s Max. A good buy. Great deal from the company Inatech. So I'm going to drop a link below so you can check this out. Hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.